Welcome to the first video in the Getting Started with SCE PS4 HANA playlist. If this is your first time connecting to an SCE PS4 HANA server and you would like to know what are the needed applications that you need to download and how to install them and then how to get the connection details to an SCE PS system and how to set up your user ID and the general settings then this playlist is for you. I will start in this video by explaining the concept of connecting to an SCE PS4 HANA system from your PC or laptop and I will answer a very important question that I receive a lot. Can we download SCE PS4 HANA on our PCs or laptops? And if we can download it, then how can we do this? So this is what I'm going to explain today. And by the end of the video, you will understand very well how to get access to an SCE PS4 HANA system. Accounting entries in every the SAP business process integration is for HANA. Let's start with the basics. Connecting to an SAP S4 HANA server works the same way as any other modern service today. So there is a strong server located somewhere, and we connect to this server from our PC, laptop, mobile device, or web browser. The same way as Netflix. When we watch a movie on Netflix, we do not need to download the movie on our device. All we need to do is to connect to the Netflix server using an application or a web browser, and then we can watch the movies as we want. So all the processing and all the data and the storage, everything is located in the server. And in our device, we only have a very small application that we use to connect. So this is the same thing for SCE PS4 HANA. The application that we use on our PC or laptop to connect to the SCEP server is called SCEP GUI, Graphical User Interface. There is also another way to connect to the SCEP server without downloading or installing any applications from any web browser using SCEP Fury. So you just insert a website link and then you insert the user ID and password and you can connect to the SCEP server from your web browser. So there are two ways to connect to the SCEP system, SCEP GUI and SCEP Fury. SAP GUI is an application that we need to download and install and in this playlist I will show you a demo on how to download SAP GUI and how to install it on Mac and also on Windows. While SAP Fury can be opened from any web browser but there are some settings that we need to do on our operating system to be able to access SAP Fury and also I'm going to demonstrate this in the playlist. So now we understand how to connect to the SAP S4 HANA server from our device. Now let's talk about the SCEP S4 HANA server and here I will answer a question that I receive a lot. Can I have my own SCEP S4 HANA server? Can I install it on my device, on my laptop or PC? And the answer is no we cannot. So the SCEP S4 HANA server requires very high hardware capabilities. By doing a quick research on the internet you can find that to have a test SCEP S4 HANA environment a test environment meaning that it doesn't require a lot of capacity. It, it will only have some test data, the minimum you need is 128 gigabyte of RAM and also a minimum of one terabyte SSD. So this is only for a test environment. If you would like to have some extra data on the system, then you need to go up to 256 or 512 gigabyte of RAM. And for real SAP S4 HANA systems for organizations, the size of the hardware needed depends on the size of the system and the size of the data and so on. So the minimum you need is 128 gigabyte of RAM and one terabyte SSD. And this is not something that we have usually in our normal PCs and laptops. Also, the second thing is you need the technical knowledge to install an SCEP S4 HANA server, to install the licenses, to set up the system. And this is definitely something that's not available for someone who would like to learn SCEP. And also the third thing is you need an SCEP S4 HANA license. So the SCEP S4 HANA license is actually free in a trial period of one month, but after this you need to pay for it. So having your own SCEP S4 HANA system for you to be able to test and learn is not a valid option at all. So the valid option to get access to an SCEP S4 HANA system is to find a company or someone who has an SCEP S4 HANA server that's already up and running and to buy access to this server. If you look on Google, you can find many companies providing the service. So you can find prices going from 30 USD per month for one user ID up to 120 USD per month. So I used to have access to an advanced system that has a good service for 100 USD per month. So this is an expensive one, but this is because the company was registered in US and they had their own support system and the server quality was really good. But the, on the other side, because it was a big company, 
asking for additional authorizations and asking for support took longer than if you deal with someone directly. On the other hand, I also bought access to servers that cost 30 USD per month. But in these cases, there is no support system at all. And usually you are contacting the person responsible for the server by WhatsApp or Skype. So if you have an issue, it depends on whether the person is available or not. Also, in many cases, the server can be down. There can be server issues. It can be slow. So there are always trade-offs. So you can find access for 30 USD per month and you can find access up to 120 USD per month. Since I started this channel in 2018, I have received a lot of requests to recommend an SAP S4 HANA server access. And two months ago, I actually started providing this service myself. So if you would like to get access to an SAP S4 HANA system, you can also check the service that I provide by going to www.galalconsulting.com slash SAP access. I will leave you the link here. So anyway, you can search on Google and you will find a lot of people selling access to SCP S4 HANA servers. But you need to understand that buying access to one of these servers only gives you the user ID and password. It doesn't give you any training or any help in setting up the system. So you are only buying access to the system itself. But when you log into the system, no one is going to help you set up your company code or use the system or with any functional issues. If there is an issue with the server itself, for example, you cannot log in or the server is down or it is very slow or there is a technical issue, then you will get support. But if you need help in setting up some functional things, so creating customers, creating materials or so on, no one is going to help you with this because this is not something that's provided with the service. It is only a service to get access to a server, but there is no consulting service included. What I try to do in my server to help people learn how to use SAP is two things. So first of all, I'm using this server in my demos. So if you watch the videos in the channel, you will be able to apply them exactly as they are on the channel on my SAP server. And the second thing is I have a Slack channel. So Slack is an application or a website that we can use to build the communities and then we can chat together. So I have a Slack channel for anyone who uses my SCEP S4 HANA server. So this way, all the users can talk together. They can agree on configurations. They can ask questions and so on. There is also a third option to get access to an SCEP S4 HANA system from SCEP itself. This option is very expensive and you pay per hour. And it is mainly targeted to companies that would like to try specific SAP S4 HANA solutions for specific business cases. It's not something targeted for individuals. This is why it is very, very expensive. So it is not really a valid option for someone who would like to test SAP S4 HANA or who would like to learn. So we go back to option number two that you need to buy access from someone who is available online. Finally, there is actually a fourth option to get access to a free, fully activated SAP S4 HANA server. But this option is no longer valid for me. I actually explained it and demonstrated it on the channel around three years ago. I will leave you the link here. You can check it. Maybe it will work for you. So this solution depends on getting free trial from Google Cloud. So the SAP server can either be installed on a machine that we own. So you have the hardware yourself or it can be installed on a cloud machine. So you can buy the hardware capacity from any cloud provider, Google, Amazon, Azure, and then you can install SCEP S4 HANA there. And as I told you, SCEP gives you one month free license or trial license to the SCEP S4 HANA system. So we have the license and we have the hardware from the cloud provider. So we can install our own SCEP S4 HANA server and it doesn't require any technical knowledge because SCEP has some kind of fast start installation. So you just click on some things and it will install automatically. So it is very easy to do. I demonstrated it in a video on the channel, so you can check it. But the point is you need to get the resources from the cloud provider. At the time, three years ago, Google used to give 300 USD free credit to use hardware from Google. So I used to create accounts on Google and then take the 300 USD install SAP S4 HANA and this amount would be enough to use the system for around two weeks or three weeks depending on how much you use it because whenever you use this hardware from uh, the hardware from the cloud provider you pay per time so when you open the server you start paying once you close it you don't pay anymore so it depends on your use of the system for me it used to stay for with me for around two weeks three weeks so it was very nice but then after two or three times of doing this I am no longer able to get the free 300 USD credit from Google. 
So even when I create a new account and I request the free credit from Google, they don't provide it. So there, somehow they know that all my accounts are connected or something. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm not able to get any free credit from Google anymore. So I'm not able to use this solution because it would cost a lot of money to actually buy the hardware time myself. So anyway, you can check the video and you can check the solution, try it. If it works for you today, let me know. I would really be happy to know if the, someone is able to install SAP s for free today. So this is the fourth option. So again, the, three, the four options are, the first one is to download and install your own SAP s system on your own device. This is not something that we can do. The second option is to buy access from someone online. So this is the only valid option. The third option is to get access from SCEP itself, which is only for companies and is very expensive. You can find details about this on the SCEP website. And the last option is to install your own SCEP s hana system on Google Cloud products. But this depends on whether you will get the free trial or you can pay for the time yourself. Anyway, check the video and you can follow the steps. And this is it. Now we understand the relation between the SAP s hana server and the applications that we need to use on our devices to connect to the server. And you also understand the different options needed to get access to one of the SAP s hana servers. In the next video, I will show you how to download and install SAP GUI on Windows and then also on Mac. And then we will go into how to use SAP Fury also. In the next video, I will show you a demo on how to download and install SAP GUI for Windows and Mac. Finally, don't forget to share the video with your connections, subscribe to the channel and follow the playlist to see the future videos. Also, check the channel membership program if you would like to support the channel and check the SAP server access service that I provide. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.